Hello everyone. Today we start the course of lectures about Russia and its history. What we usually know about Russia? Uh, as we, I mean now the usual attitude towards Russia uh, in the Western nations, in the English speaking world, first of all. We know that Russia is a superpower uh, which has nuclear weapons. Uh, we well know that it annexed the Crimea in 2014. Um, uh, the West usually perceives Russia as a threat to it and um, a threat to democracy. Usually people treat Russia as a country of bears. Uh, and uh, believe that Russians usually drink a lot of vodka. Very often, people remember that our current president of Russia is Vladimir Putin. There are pictures of these symbols of the Russian Federation in common perception, of course. Russia has a, a huge territory. Uh, it has uh, over sev 17 million square kilometers. Uh, the history of Russia has basic features uh, which can be counted as follows. Uh, expansion, colonization, um, borrowings from other countries, uh, and a huge dependence on weather. Territorial expansion, territorial expansion of Russia can be traced on this map. Uh, the heartland of Russia is in green in this map. Uh, territorial expansion uh, implies colonization of lands, farming, agriculture, and so on. Uh, colonization was often uh, not centralized, but uh, was um, undertook by several groups of Russian population uh, who uh, searched for very um, highly valuable raw materials uh, and um, moved to Siberia and the far east of current Russia. This territorial expansion sometimes implies subjugation of territories or conquests. In Russian sources, uh, this process is often called uh, the gatherings of lands. Uh, Russia emerged as a great empire or superpower. Uh, this empire was ruled by an authoritarian government uh, which had to control all these subjugated territories. Uh, due to the very huge distances uh, between different areas of the Russian state, uh, the Russian government uh, treat, treats any doubt in its decisions as disobedience. Uh, and therefore, uh, the Russian government often implements very uh, severe repressions uh, on those people who uh, have some disagreements with the government. Next, um, the heartland of Russia lays in the Eastern European plain. Its climate is rather severe. Uh, Russia has long winters and short summers. The Russian soils in its heartland, um, except uh, the soils Chernozyum, uh, are relatively low fertile uh, and they produce very low harvests um, for the most centuries of Russian history. Uh, this low harvest uh, gave a very limited supply, uh, which would uh, help to maintain uh, any cultural uh, institutions, uh, any serious uh, political development in a democratic way. And this limited supply led to poverty of the population on the one hand, and a furious struggle for the income on the other hand. Uh, our severity uh, is, in many aspects, um, a result of this very serious uh, climatic um, 
influences. Well, uh, Russia knows very many borrowings from other cultures. Uh, the Russian religions, the Orthodox Christianity, the Russian Orthodox Church uh, was borrowed from the Byzantine Empire. Uh, Sunni Islam was borrowed from the Near East. Uh, Buddhism uh, from uh, East Asia. State symbols of Russia, the Ruble Eagle and the Russian Tricolor uh, also are borrowed from different traditions. Double Eagle from the Byzantine Empire and the Russian Tricolor from uh, Denmark. Russia adopted the idea of firearms and produced many well-known uh, guns uh, as uh, Kalashnikov. Russian diet includes some food uh, which also uh, was borrowed from abroad. Potatoes, rice, tomatoes, bananas, and so on. All these basic foods, uh, everyday food of Russians, um, was borrowed from different cultures. Cyrillic alphabet and book printing are also borrowed. The Russian vocabulary includes many words from Greek, Latin, French, English, Japanese, Chinese, and so on. Uh, there are a few examples uh, from Greek. Angelos, angel, in Russian, angel. Seoklon, seokla, betrod, svokla, historia, history, from Greek also. It sounds historia in Russian. From Latin, actus, action, Russian word act. Senatus, senate, senat in Russian. Latin defectus, defect flow, gives defect in Russian, through Dutch or German. From French, attach, a flow, story, Russian word attach. Toilet, small linen, in Russian, toilet, which means dress or a VC. French chauffeur, a stoker, a fireman or driver, turns Russian chauffeur, a driver. There are multiple borrowings from current English or English of the 19th century. Jeans, Russian jeans. Twitter, Russian Twitter. Twitter. Computer, Russian computer. Device, Russian device. There are many borrowings in society and political institutions and ideologies. As for ideologies, democracy uh, and communism, Marxism, liberalism, geopolitics and feminism. Uh, all these ideologies were elaborated uh, in the West and were borrowed uh, from the West by Russian thinkers and political actors. Certainly, these ideologies were transformed in very considerable ways, but at the same time, they still have foreign origin. As for institutions, uh, division of power, which is uh, reflected uh, in the Russian current constitution of 1993. The division of power is an idea expressed first by Charles Louis Montesquieu in the 18th century. Uh, high schools and universities, the system of education uh, was also borrowed uh, from the West by a Russian government. Police as a separate institution, social institution to keep order, is also borrowed. Uh, social insurance, constitutional legal system uh, have very deep roots in the Western culture. Uh, Russian constitution uh, in some aspects follows the American constitution, uh, as well as Russian legal system includes uh, many um, achievements of uh, the French civil court uh, by Napoleon uh, and um, its German 
Russian. The Russian state, the main actor of Russian history, uh, is called государство in Russian. Uh, this term uh, looks like the English words kingdom, princedom, or chiefdom, uh, a rulerdom, a possession of the ruler. In the past, there is a usual consensus that the state is a political system where the civil society can control and do, does control the government. On the contrary, the Russian state controls the Russian society. You may say that the Russian state is actually the Russian government. The state, as a political system, is an organization of the ruling class to control the ruled. Uh, and uh, the state has several basic features or attributes. Apparatus of coercion, public power separated from the people, a territory and its divisions, a system of taxation, a sovereignty. The Russian state has all these features. The territorial expansion of Russia requires control over remote areas, remote lands. Uh, such control uh, requires a strong central power and strong centralization. This strong central power uh, has been militarized uh, to keep all these territories under one great hand, under one rule. And uh, this militarized central power uh, has been essentially hierarchical. Uh, a strong ruler, strong ruler, a monarch, a Russian Tsar or Emperor, uh, or General Secretary of the Central Committee of the Communist Party of Soviet Union, or President nowadays, uh, this strong ruler has almost absolute power. Uh, very uh, seldom uh, this power was limited by such uh, elective bodies like uh, the State Duma uh, or the Supreme Soviet of the USSR. Political and social hierarchy and strong central power are the basis for an authoritarian rule, not for the democratic regime. The authoritarian rule in our Russian circumstances uh, seems a natural consequence of all Russian history. And at the same time, the Russian state is the main progressive force in Russia because only the state can implement, and actually do implement progressive institution, institutions in a very traditional Russian society. Uh, for example, the Soviet government in the late 1917 uh, gave uh, women's, women suffrage, whereas all previous governments um, did not do it. Um, now, current Russian government um, issued laws protecting children, protecting women. Uh, so uh, there is actually the only uh, strong political actor who can change Russia. Uh, as for official heroes of the Russian history, uh, we have some of them on this slide. Alexander Nevsky, uh, who uh, was a rival of uh, the Teutonic Order in the 13th century. Uh, Ron the Terrible, uh, who conquered Kazan and Astrakhan um, lands uh, in the 16th century and also uh, undertook a great campaign uh, in the West, uh, in uh, Livonia. Uh, Peter the Great, uh, who conquered the Baltic states. Catherine the Great, who um, annexed the territories of Poland, uh, as well as some lands uh, in the uh, south of Russia. Uh, Catherine the Great was the first uh, who next uh, the Crimea. Uh, Joseph Stalin, uh, one of the greatest dictators of the 20th century, and uh, last uh, Vladimir Putin, uh, under whose uh, the 
Russian Federation also uh, joined the Crimea in 2014. Uh, as for creators of Russian culture, uh, there are several names, uh, perhaps not well known in the West, but at the same time, they all um, gave a profound impact uh, into the Russian culture. Uh, Ivan Krylov, Nikolai Karamzin, Alexander Pushkin, uh, these three um, writers created the Russian language, Russian literary language. Uh, Nikolai Gogol, uh, Ivan Gencharov, uh, Fyodor Dostoevsky, Leo Tolstoy, Anton Chekhov, uh, all these writers created the great Russian literature, uh, the golden age of Russian literature in the 19th century. Uh, composers, Pyotr Tchaikovsky and Sergei Rachmaninov um, are the most well-known composers from Russia in the West. Their music uh, seems very popular even today. Uh, main questions of Russian history are follows. How Russia turned Russia as we know it now? Why Russia faced so many revolutions? Why Russia, in one and the same time, hides wars and praises peace and a territorial expansion? Why Russia adopted Marxism in a way no other country did? Why Russia chose an Orthodox Christianity and how it influenced Russian history? Why Russia has been so powerful? All these questions uh, will be discussed later in my lectures. I hope to prepare them in the nearest future. If you have questions, please ask me in the commentaries. Thank you for your attention.